how you guys doing? I'm just going to talk a little bit about, oh, oh wait, sorry, I I'm, I'm, can't see right now. One second. It worked. Okay, so as I was saying, we're going to talk a little bit about encounters. We're obviously going to talk about encountering the Lord. First, I want to talk about a little encounter I had the other day. So as, as you can see, I, uh, maybe not, but I'm working orientation in my college. I just still have moving children. Um, and I was I was directing traffic the other day during moving day, and I was just sitting at the top hill directing people, telling them what to do. Cars pass by me all the time. But one of these cars passed by. Most of them stopped asking me where to go. This one didn't. He just kept going. When it was up, I saw him. I kind of I kind of recognized him. I'm like okay, whatever. He kept going, and then my brain caught to my eyes. I'm like wait a second, that's Chris Stefanik. And personally, Chris Stefanik's Oscar. I like his talks. I listen to some of his talks. I go to school actually. Reallifecatholic.com, good stuff on there, videos, talks, the whole spiel. Um, so I'm like, oh, geez, that'd be so cool to meet Chris. Like, come on, Chris. Call me, whole name is my head, but that doesn't matter. So I see him. He goes, drives away. I'm like, oh, whatever. It's fine. Then I see he loops around and he parks over by the parking lot that's near where I'm standing. I'm like, okay, this might happen. Because now he has to walk back to the dorm to help move in his kid. So he's coming this way. I'm like, okay, this is the time. I'm going to meet him. What should I say? Like, are my teeth brushed? Is there anything in my teeth? I don't smell. It's one of my armpits. Look at my hair. <sighs> okay. And I'm a pretty confident guy. I don't get too nervous. But I started getting nervous. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Because there's, there's this guy that I look up to that I would like to be like when I grow up. And he's coming. And I have this chance to introduce myself. So he's coming. I'm thinking, what should I say? I'm like, okay, here he comes. He's getting closer. I'm like, I know you probably won't want this. You're just trying to move in your daughter. But my name's Nick O'Brien, blah, blah, blah. And like, at this time, my heart was beating like out of my chest practically. Like I was choking on my words. I did not say this smoothly as I just said this then. I was like, oh, my name, uh, yeah, I I was choking on words. I was trying to introduce myself via connections I knew through him. It didn't work. He got a, he got a um, phone call pretty much 30 seconds into our encounter, and he had to walk away. But for that 30 seconds, I was, like, nervous. I was anxious. And when he walked away, my heart was, like, still beating a bunch. My hands were literally shaking. I'm like, what? I don't I don't get nervous. I'm a confident dude. I'm laid back. I'm fine. But my hands were shaking. My heart was beating. And I was, like, a little fangirl who just saw Santa Claus, like the Jonas Brothers or something. I was like, wow, that's crazy. You know? And I was just reflecting on it, like, why was I so, like, anxious? Why was I so nervous? Like, just a dude yeah he might be a good catholic speaker but he's, he's just a dude and it's just like that that nervousness and like i was restless i was kind of restless in that moment and it's funny because saint augustine and saint augustine one of them says my heart is restless our hearts are restless until they rest in you lord and like i felt that restlessness in that moment i felt that restlessness just all through my life before but i felt it especially in that my heart was beating, my hands were shaking, I was choking on words, <laughs> and I was restless. But I look back and like, when I go to the chapel, I'm not, I'm not anxious. Like, that's the most powerful dude. He's, he's God, so he's not a dude, but he's also a dude because Jesus Christ and stuff. But like, that's the most powerful guy. That's the most important person in my life. And I don't get anxious. My heart doesn't start beating. My hands don't shake. I don't shake on words. I don't. I'm not anxious around him. I just, I feel at peace actually. My heart has rest. In Matthew 11, 28 through 30, let me look it, up real quick. it says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I was just kind of like reflecting on that. He's, he's talking about like, come to me, like, if you're restless, if your heart's beating really hard, if your hands are shaking, if you're choking on words, come to me, I'll give you rest. No big deal, come to me, come on, my yoke is easy. The yoke is what they put on the oxen to do work. Saying, he's like saying that's easy. With me, it's easy. And my burden is light. Like, you're not gonna, your heart's not gonna be beating around. You're not gonna be sweating, you're not gonna be choking on words. It's gonna be a good time. I'm like, well, why? Why do I ultimately am not anxious? Why am I peaceful with the Lord? 
and I'm like, it has definitely not always been like that. There's no way it's always been like that. And it's true. I used to be a lot more anxious praying. I was a lot more anxious going to adoration, to being with the Blessed Sacrament, to, to just speak with the Lord in prayer. I, more nervous. I didn't always have this peace where I would go in there. And sometimes I still don't always have this peace. But now, for the general most part, I'm confident. I'm peace. There's just peace that comes over me. There's great love. And I figured out, like, I didn't know how Chris DePernick was going to react to me introducing myself to him. I figured he wasn't going to, like, freak out and yell at me. There's still that ounce of maybe he just will blow me off, he'll get mad at me, whatever. There's still that ounce of doubt where I don't know for sure how he's going to react. So that's why I was anxious. But the Lord, I know, I've come to know through lots of experience, through trial, through hardship, that he loves me and he'll always love me. He'll always shake my hand. He'll always be happy for me to talk to him. He'll always be there, willing to be introduced once again to me, his, his beloved son. I didn't always get that back in high school. I didn't always get that at all. But I've realized that now we have that knowledge I have that knowledge of faith, that knowledge that he loves us, I'm able to go to him in prayer. I'm able to go to him in adoration. I'm able to go to him in so many different ways, at so many different times, no matter what I'm feeling. And I, and I know, I don't necessarily feel it all the time, but I know that he loves me. And I know that he'll give me rest, that he'll give me peace. And wow, that's so true. I feel the peace most of the time. But even when I don't feel the peace, I know there's no reason to be anxious. There's no reason to be nervous because he died on the cross for me. You don't do that for someone you don't love. You don't, you don't die on the cross. You don't do the most painful thing for someone you don't love. He gives us peace. He gives us rest. In Isaiah, in Isaiah 26, chapter 26, starting with verse 3, It says, Thou dost keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. So it says, You give him perfect peace, whose mind is on you, who has given him trust to thee, who has given trust to you. So whoever trusts in the Lord, the Lord will give you peace. And again, in verse 12, it says, O Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us, that has wrought for us all our works. So basically the Lord's like, dude, you're my son, you're my daughter. Here's some peace. And everything you do, it's in me, not me, God. It's in God. And he gives us that peace. He gives us that power. And we have no reason to be afraid because he gives us that. If we believe in him, if we love him, if we give ourselves to him day by day, moment by moment, he will give us that peace. He will give us that power. And it's so evident in confession. In my, in my growing up, my maturing in confession, and my experience in confession, when I first started, it was scary. It was scary. I was a nervous dude most of the time going to confession. But now, like, I can go to confession and be fine. I look forward to it. I'm excited. I remember I used to sit in that confessional for the first time. Dude, I was nervous as all get out. And like, I have to tell this dude all my sins that I've done. I'm shaking. Uh, my heart's beating for sure. I'm choking on words for sure. Just like that experience with Chris. I was like, I was nervous. But now, I'm looking forward to talking. It's like a friend. I'm looking forward to talking to the priest and confessional. It's actually Christ and Christian and Christian. That's, I'm looking forward to sitting down and talking to that because I know that he loves me. I know he will give me peace. I know his burden is light. His yoke is easy. It's so great. Our encounters, we have to be vulnerable. And when we know the person, our encounters are a lot different than we don't know the person. And I know the Lord, and I know He always gives me that peace. It's funny, I have this rock. I got it for graduation, actually, sitting on my desk. I was playing through the, when I was about to do the vlog, I'm like, yeah, I got some good stuff I'll talk about. The Lord has inspired me to say these things. And I walk over the last minute to my bookshelf, I don't know. And I see this rock. It's a, it's a fish, if you can see that. Probably wouldn't. 
swim very well because it's a rock. But anyways, I just want to end. We'll make this prayer. End this prayer. Just trusting the Lord and just finding rest in Him. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him. Lord, we just call upon your name and I ask that you may always be with us, that we may always trust you, that our hands may not shake, that our hearts may not beat out of our chests, that we may not choke on words when we're in your presence, for we know that you love us and we know that you will always be with us. We pray all this in your name. Amen, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, guys. Sweet. Check out my other videos. Or not. Free will. God loves us. But I think you should.